okay welcome back in this video we are going to talk about a transaction log backup this is a part 3 of the database backup okay what a transaction log backup okay any database that is in a, has a full recovery mode or a bulk log can have a transaction log backup which means that a simple recovery mode cannot have a transaction log backup as already stated okay backing up transaction log use many of the same options as a database backup it is very similar syntax to the database backup some other options that apply to the transaction log are taken here one by one the first one is no truncate this option allows you to backup without truncating the inactive portion of the transaction log when the database is corrupt now remember whenever there is a database has corruption has taken place there is a inactive portion of the transaction log the inactive transaction portion of the transaction log contains the committed transaction log entries as well as the uncommitted okay anyway the uncommitted doesn't matter the committed transaction is much more important okay so it contains the committed transaction log entries that are usually used when the database has got corrupted and you want to reach to the database you need to have the backup of that ending part of the transaction log however you do not want to truncate it whenever you take a backup of the transaction log it will actually truncate the transaction log remember that thing all the backup wherever till the backup was taken all the committed transaction would be actually dropped from the transaction log which means it is truncated the transaction log becomes smaller that's why you have to take up the transaction log backup at a regular basis otherwise your transaction log is going to grow very big if you do not take the backup and you cannot use it as a no truncate always remember that thing if you do not truncate a transaction log if you do not actually do that thing if you keep on using it again and again your transaction log will log will keep on growing okay this is usually used when the database has got corrupt and you want to restore the database okay you should use this option to the backup the transaction log prior to restoring the database what does that mean that you should actually use this option before actually you want to restore the database okay now let's actually go and use one of the command okay now it says backup log pubs the pubs is a database and it's it is asking it is actually telling that uh, log of the pubs database should be backed up okay to the disk if it was tape i would have specified tape to e colon backup is the folder name and i have given the pub trans and i have to specify the date and you have to specify the date until an hour else you will get confused okay it says december 13 2011 okay i would if i wanted it right now i would have actually checked it change it okay depending upon what date it was actually taken okay trn stands for transaction okay let's go and actually run this t sql command and execute it see what has happened it is the bulk log has been terminated abnormally why it has been terminated abnormally because the recovery model is set to simple simple doesn't allow you to take a transaction log backup now if i go and change the model back to the pubs model of the pubs to the full recovery model to the full again i have to take full backup before actually taking a transaction log backup remember that thing okay this is the situation here okay now that i am going to take a backup log for the north wind database this time and this database has a recovery model set to the full 
remember that thing if you set the recovery model uh, now you will have to take the full database backup again otherwise it will not allow you to take the transaction log backup as simple as that you cannot change the recovery model in between and take a transaction log backup directly you have to actually take the full backup again now let's execute this command and see as you see actually i have already executed this command this transact sql and what you can see is that the transaction log has been backed up successfully here now whether you call the sql which stands for the structured query language whether you call it sql whether whether you call sql or whether you call anything else it doesn't matter what matters is that you should understand what you are doing it doesn't matter what you call it it doesn't matter how you pronounce it some people are very fussy about pronunciation well and good for them it doesn't matter really how you pronounce the sql sql structured query language whatever way you want you can do it no problems at all now let's take the suppose if we, there was a problem actually if you had the north wind recovery model set to simple and you had to take the you reset the recovery model to the full then again you have to take the database full backup as is as specified in this transact sql or sql run this transact sql sql there we are run the transact sql for log backup for the log execute it there it shows a backup log successfully processed so far so good now there are other options with the transaction log such as no truncate this options allow you to backup without truncating the inactive portion of the transaction log when the database is corrupt i already spoken to you let's actually use this option and see it there you are now i already spoken to you about a copy only with the database in the backup it is very similar concept to the copy only database backup you can also do it with the log when you use it with the log the only difference is that it will copy your log to the destination wherever you specify it it will back up the log sorry it will back up the log to the destination where you you specify it however it will not actually disturb your backup sequence what does that mean is that if you were backing up to the they would if you were backing up the database previously you can continue as there has no backup in between has taken place if you had taken a full backup and then you had taken a tra few transaction log backup and you can continue with whatever it doesn't actually disturb the sequence of the transaction log it doesn't do any truncation of the transaction log when you use the copy only option that's it for the transaction log backup in the next video we will take up the differential backup